If you are a person that believes in one save, always saved, or you are a Calvinist and you believe that once that you're saved, you can never be lost because you're going to be faithful to the end, I made this video especially for all of you. You see, the Bible has a strong teaching against those who say they're Christian but behave like devils. I'm talking about the, the, the doctrine of the hypocrite. God has prepared a place for all hypocrites. That includes you and I, if we don't live for God. You can say that you're saved. You can say you're, you've been washed in the blood. You can say that you've been born again. But if you live like the world, and you live in sin, uh, adultery, fornication, idolatry, you worship idols, or you do everything that the world does, and no one even knows that you're a Christian, you're a hypocrite. And the, the Bible says that God has prepared a place for these kind of people. No, if you're a Christian, you have to live like a Christian. You have to walk like a Christian. You have to do what the word Christian says, to be a follower of Christ. How is God going to judge the world on Judgment Day and not judge those who say they're Christian, but they lived like the world and were sinners just like the world. Workers of iniquity is what Jesus said. How can God be a righteous and holy God that can condemn millions to the lake of fire and yet not do anything to those hypocritical Christians who live wrong, who didn't serve God, yet they believe that because at one time they gave their life to God, that that was enough to, to exempt them from Judgment Day. I'm warning you right now, those of you who do not live for God, that if you think that you can get into heaven because you're, you're a Calvinist or a one safe, always safe person, I'm warning you, that is a lie. Hypocrites will burn in hell and they will be tossed into the lake of fire. I pray that this message will get to you in time so that you can repent and live for God. There's room at the cross for you. Yes, there's room at the cross for you. Though millions have come, there's still room for one. Yes, there's room at the cross.